In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys five things that you must know before you become a hair replacement specialist. Now, a hair replacement specialist is someone who is knowledgeable about the overall service and not just the procedure. Meaning that, you know, you know about the whole aspect of the service that you'll be providing and not just about how to apply a unit. Number one, you must know how to cut hair. Like, you have to be a professional at barbering or a cosmetologist. These are the people who went to school and experienced who were cutting regular hair. Um, and I'm for sure that if you don't know how to cut regular hair or don't know how to blend, then, then learning this service will, there will be some challenges learning this service if you don't know how to already cut hair. So you must know how to cut hair before you can start doing hair with them. Two, you must be able to assess your client's head and scalp to determine if you can actually perform a service on their head and if you'll be able to actually help them out. Uh, what that means, you need to determine the color, the texture, the density, um, the length. Um, these are things that you that all will be consistent client's consultation. Um, if you would like to know more about how to how to do a client's consultation, you can sign up for my Patreon. Everybody comes in with different aspects that they have going on with their head, so you may you know what I'm saying you might have to have to deal with someone that you're gonna have to um, tell them they may have to deal with a, um, talk to a physician before you can actually service them. So these are things that you do need to know before you can actually perform the service. Three. You must know about all the hair replacement services that are available. Um, and I say this because um, it helps me out that I know at least five different um, techniques that um, will help me out because for some clients that come in, they may have a worst case scenario and I might have to uh, combine two of those services to help this one client out. I hint you to be able to, um, to grow in the industry um, by only doing one service. So um, I, I suggest that you learn, at least try to learn at least four to five of the different services because it'll be able to help you out in the long run. Four, you must be able to help your client maintenance their new look. Um, most of the people that get into this, they get into doing these are not used to getting these units or not to get used to getting any hair replacement. Most of them have been bald. So with that being said, you must be able to help them because they don't know. Um, and if you don't know, you need to learn how to be able to help them, help them maintenance their unit. And number five is make sure that you know how to price your service. Um, for me, um, I can honestly say that I price mine off of my experience and my location. Um, I do give people my, give, give out my prices, but sometimes it is a little hard for me because um, I was in LA, so you know, they pay top dollar for almost anything. So um, my prices was suitable for my location. Um, and if I tell you my price, I also keep, tell people to keep in mind that um, if you're not in a state that, you know, where they pay a lot of money for things like that, then, you know, your prices probably need to come down just a little bit. And you also need to go off of your experience. So if you're new to the game, um, don't try to hit people over the head with the price just because you know how to do the service. You uh, you want the, you want to keep your client. So you want to, you know what I'm saying, be reasonable when it comes to pricing. Now, this is specifically for people that want to be a hair replacement specialist. Um, so, um, if you guys want to know more, I do. I definitely break all five of these things down on my Patreon, so you can sign up in the link below. And um, I hope to see you guys there. Um, if you have any more questions, just let me know in the uh, comment section. All right, peace. See you guys later.